Hey guys, Thunderbo here, today I'm bringing you more Pocket Edition 0.9.0 news, and this is going to be on Caves and Infinite Worlds. So a few days ago, Tommaso tweeted, so many caves, they start to be somewhat playable. And he links us a picture of a cave system, and he was able to see through the walls, and you can see like all the complex cave systems, and also has the heat map, which um, it appears to be functioning properly now. And uh, underneath that is a cave system, and it just looks really, really cool. And uh, the caves definitely look uh, a lot of fun, and they look to seem like they're functioning. And also, uh, if you look kind of closely at that picture, you could see what looks like a little lava puddle. And I think they added those lava pools that you find in caves. So now we don't have to look for lava coming out of the side of mountains. We can go look for lava in caves. So they added lava to caves, and they seem to be functioning. However, he then tweets this next thing and says, Too bad they brutally slaughter performance. It's down to 35 FPS on the iPad Mini, and that's not good. So there's definitely some optimization that needs to be done. However, caves are functioning. They just need to figure out how to make them run a lot faster. So as of now, we don't have any other news on them. But someone asks, then it's probably best that we don't add dungeons or mine shafts because it will slaughter even more performance. And Tommaso says that uh, the bad thing is something called underground air and stuff that like doesn't have to be drawn by the processor that shouldn't or something. And pretty much mine shafts and dungeons are just like normal caves. So uh, pretty much we could have mine shafts and we could have normal caves. They just need to figure out how to add them into the terrain generator. But right now they're just trying to figure out how to make caves less buggy. Someone then asks about how Infinite Worlds are coming along, and he says uh, there's still quite a bit of work to do. Uh, they do work, however, there's no trees and there's no snow, but it's a work in progress. So Infinite Worlds still needs some work before they completely are finished. And someone asks why you can see through blocks, and he says because of the command player uh, slash player no clip. So, uh, with this being said, people started asking if commands will be added in the next update, and he says no, and surely player no clip wouldn't be one of them, and it's too unstable. So commands still aren't going to be in 0 0.9.0. It's unfortunate, and a lot of people want commands. I don't know when they will be added, but they're definitely not coming in 0 0.9.0 because they're still too unstable. Uh, this next tweet here asks about uh, quad-core processors and pocket edition, and he says world generation itself is blazing fast, but the problem is the caves, and they use up too much of the CPU, so that's why it lags. It's not the generation itself, it's the actual cave functionality. So he then shows this picture saying, uh, this shows pretty well why caves are so heavy, and there's these hidden things called polygons, which aren't supposed to be happening or something, and pretty much uh, this picture shows that there's a lot of these hidden cave, quote, polygons and stuff that shouldn't be there. So they need to figure out how to get rid of all these polygons in order to make caves function properly. Now this next tweet actually comes from me. I tweeted Tommaso asking uh, what a, what's wrong with these polygons. And I'm like, are they trying to figure out how to decrease the number of polygons? And Tommaso responds to my tweet saying, yes and no. Uh, he says that the polygons are underground and they shouldn't be drawn at all. And it's extremely hard to figure out how to get rid of them. So pretty much the polygons are causing the lag and they're trying to figure out how to get rid of them. So this next tweet comes from Superior Craft and a few other people. And they were talking about how all the biomes except for jungles and roof forests will be in the 0 0.9.0 update. And Tommaso jumps in on this, saying that they will try to add jungles now by making the jungle leaves non-transparent. And they need to do some testing, but pretty much they're going to attempt to add jungles and roof forests now after they determine if they can actually add them. So this next post comes from Tommaso's Reddit, and someone was really confused as to what's going on with the new generation, the old generation, and whatnot. And Tom responds saying that when you load up an old world, it will keep the old generation, and there will be an option to make it infinite if you want, but it will keep the old generation. 
to get the new world types with the caves and biomes and whatnot, uh, you have to create a brand new world, and it will also give you the option if you want to make it infinite. So you're going to have the two world types, one for the old world, one for the new ones, and you'll have the option to make either of them infinite. He also says something about the far biome, which is the biome that they're going to add that's special at the end of uh, non-infinite worlds, and he says it will make a lot more sense when he gets around to it. So, pretty much, the far biome, no new news on that until they start working on it, but old worlds will keep the old generation and stay infinite if you want it. And to get the new worlds, you have to create a new world. Someone then questioned about Xbox map size and how that compares to Pocket Edition. And Tom says, well, there's going to be different world size selections. Like, you can have a small one, a medium one, large one. And then you can have the option to make that infinite. And he says, even the small one will be bigger than the Xbox map, which is 864 blocks by 864 blocks. So the small map is going to be pretty big. And I'm pretty sure that we'll have a lot of area to explore. So the maps are going to be a lot bigger than Xbox. Someone then asked about the world height and if 0.9.0 will have a 256 high world unlike the uh, 128 that we have right now. And he says no because it's too slow and at least for now there's too many reasons why they can't add it. Someone then asked Tom about seeds in the new terrain generator. Pretty much the world generation is 100% different. So even if you end up a seed, for instance, Neon, will it wind up with the exact same world? And Tom says that seeds in the new terrain, gener uh, terrain generator will look completely different than what you get now. So when you enter, for instance, Neon in the seed, uh, you're going to get a world that does not look like the Neon that we all know. So seeds will be 100% different, therefore all old seed spotlight videos that you guys all watch, um, none of them are going to be relevant anymore. Unfortunately, seeds will not work the same way they do now. So, for instance, Neon will not work in 0 0.9.0, at least the way that we know it. So this is pretty much the end of the update video. Um, thank you all for watching. I know it was kind of long, but at least it provides some info on caves, infinite worlds, biomes, and commands. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, leave a like, favorite, comment below with your thoughts, subscribe for more news and other Pocket Edition content, and I'll see you next video.